During combat operations in southwest Africa, the South African artillery found themselves outgunned by the weapons used by the opposing forces. So that started a process which led to the design, development and production of two artillery systems. Today the prime contractor is Denel Land Systems. Those are the G5, which is a 155 calibre towed gun, as you see here. The other one was the massive G6, 155mm, 6x6 self-propelled artillery system, which has got armour protection and a special V at the front to bush bash. Both of these use the same ordnance, and as you can see, it's got a, a muzzle brake. And this, these, this, the towed version has also got an auxiliary power unit that is mounted at the front. And that enables the gun to be brought into action much more quickly and also helps it to be deployed over a very short distance on its own power. But South Africans adopted a systems approach. Not only just the gun we see here, but the ammunition. And when we talk about the ammunition, we talk about the projectile, the charges, and the fuse system. Also, on the other side, you don't often see this vehicle. This is the Sawmill 100. This is the actual tractor unit, which carries the gun, its crew, and ammunition. And it's got a very high level of cross-country mobility. And as you can see, the front of vehicle has got equipment to bush bash. So this would normally tow the gun to its firing position, be uncovered, then move to uh, where it's going to carry out its firing mission. But when we talk about the ammunition, a key feature of this is its family of ammunition. We often talk about the gun, but the whole role of the artillery is to put down accurate suppressive fire as quickly as possible. So a complete family of ammunition was developed. This is of what we call the extended range full bore type. It's got nubs to give that extra range, and you can have a screw-on base speed unit to give you more range. And in addition to the high explosive rounds, there was also a cargo round years ago, and smoke and illuminating. And in a minute, we'll have a look at the ammunition. So the heart of any artillery system is the ammunition. And the key to a successful engagement is to locate the target first. And the South Africans didn't neglect that. They had their own forward observers well in front of the guns and also a large number of unmanned aerial vehicles. And they would find the targets and the artillery will come into action and carry out a fire mission and neutralize it. This is part of the family of ammunition used by both the G5 and G6 155 45 caliber artillery systems. As you can see, it's got the welded nub, the nubs on here, very long, elongated. At the front, you've got the fuse well and you put the fuse on it and you've got the high explosive, and the other ones are smoke, illuminating, and white phosphorus. The two on the end, these have the lifting thing, so these can be used to lift the projectile. They is normally taken off, and then the fuse is screwed in and set. For many years, artillery arms used bag charges, but on the right here, so you now see the bimodular charge system, which is much more efficient. And the, the number of charges you put in gives you the various range overlaps. And in the case of the G5, you have a flick rammer, so that is loaded the projectile, and then the charge. The breach shown here is of the screw type and the open position. That is shut, and it's fired. I'll now give you a, a couple of ideas of actually the maximum firing range depends on the projectile in charge, but it is typically just over 40,000 meters. Normal rate of fire is probably two or three rounds a minute, but you can get a burst rate of three rounds in two minutes or an intense round of two, of two rounds per minute. That depends on a number of factors. The actual weapon weighs about 13.7 tonnes and it is normally towed at a maximum speed of 80 kilometres an hour. But when used in the self-propelled mode, it has a maximum speed of 16 kilometres an hour.